Greetings family, Prophet K. Dave Lamola is my name. I'm so excited, you know. I've been receiving some messages. Some people have been telling me that, you know, I, since you started teaching on this subject of un unfriendly friends, my eyes are open. I was not even aware of this, that I'm actually surrounded by wrong people. I just thought these people, you know, uh, this and that. But indeed, after learning something from your teachings, I've realized I've been surrounded by wrong people. Welcome to part number three. We are still dealing with unfriendly friends. I'm giving you the marks. I'm giving you the symptoms. How to spot them. How to recognize them. How to know these are wrong people in your circle. And you actually don't need them. Now, I'm giving you point number one. How do you know well, who is an unfriendly friend? An unfriendly friend is one that tries to divert you from good things and good opportunities and steer you into unprofitable ones. Oh. <laughs> she closes good doors against you while showing you into bad ones. Some of you, a lot of you, you've been going through what I've just shared with you. Such people want nothing good for you. They want nothing good for your life. They will hear that your boyfriend is planning to marry you. They will come to you and lie that they saw your boyfriend is dating sister so and so. So they will so much discourage you never to marry that brother. They will tell you that the company that uh, they promised to hire you is not a good company. It does not pay people. They will just criticize you in everything. They will tell you that your business that you are trying to do, so we know so and so who failed in this business, you can't make it. You Listen to me. You don't need such people. Get rid of them. You don't need, have, you don't need to have such negative energy in your life. So point number two that I want to share with you and and an unfriendly friend or let me rather say an evil friend this one is an evil friend an evil friend just like the devil has nothing but an evil agenda for your life has nothing but an evil agenda this person was sent by devil into your life pure 100 percent the devil just sent this person into your life and for them to be there in your life their mission is to finish your life is to destroy you is to destroy what you have built with your sweat they will destroy your marriage they will destroy your business they will destroy your career they will destroy everything that you have worked so hard for because they always criticize everything that you are trying to do another point that i want to give to you an unfriendly friend is an enemy who pretends to be a friend but actually hates you you need to understand when your enemy is looking to finish you off or to kill or to kill you or to take you to take you out of the game the best way they can do that is to be closer to you is to be closer to you Another point that I want to give you, an unfriendly friend is one that wants to be going up in life while you are going down. She pushes you down the steps, passes you, and keeps going higher. She will even go as far as employing diabolic powers, I'm talking about witchcraft, to keep you down while she moves up in life. A lot of you who are listening to this, who are watching me, you fail in life. Good things that you have lost was because of some of your friends your marriage that failed your marriage that failed that collapsed that you end up losing was because an evil friend that you had most of you are where you are because of what we call unfriendly friends if it wasn't because of that you should have been very far in life by now so get rid of them refuse to repeat the same mistake another point that i want to give you family an unfriendly friend is a deceiver is a deceiver and cannot be trusted or relied on if you have got someone who keeps on deceiving you this that this person who cannot be trusted with anything this person that you can't rely on family my friend my friend i care for you get rid of that person an unfriendly friend, another point, keeps all the good things to herself or himself and voluntarily and gladly tells you about unprofitable things. They always expose 
the little businesses without profit that they are not even interested in. They just want to pass them over you. But the big businesses with big money, with big, with big profits, they never share those with you. Because according to them, you don't deserve to be where they are. Beware of such. Get rid of them. Another point that I want to give you, an unfriendly friend is an unprofitable friend. These are people that since they came into your life, you kept on decreasing and never increased. They are people, you need to understand family. No, there are two types of people. There are people who come to you and your life starts increasing. There are people who come to you and your life begins to decrease. So you need to check your life. Compare. Since so and so came into my life, I'm lazy. Since so and so came into my life, I'm stagnated. Since so and so came into my life, I'm, I miss opportunities. Get rid of such people. You don't need them in your life. Last point that I want to give you, and we close this part number three. An unfriendly friend is one that circulates your name around for evil. Ooh. You are a friend with a witch. Beware. You hear that so and so tells you that your friend said this about you. When you go somewhere, another person will tell you, so and so said this about you. And when you hear about what so and so said about you, these are only evil things. Get rid of that person. Sometimes you don't even have to confront that person. Get rid of them. Then your life will be free. I believe you were blessed by this part number three. From part one until part number three, I believe you were, you were so much blessed. And I believe you have gained so much insight and your eyes are opened and you know better now. Get rid of them. Not everyone who is part of your life were influenced by God. God bless you and I'm praying for you and I care for you. See you next time. Shalom.